Hey y'all, it's Cole. I can't talk now. I'm really busy. Uh, Benny and I got invited to this really frou-frou country club and we're gonna play tennis, but I can't find my racket or headband anywhere. Normally I'm pretty bad at tennis, but it's a good excuse to get out of talking about politics, so I'm all in. Dude, check the weather. Good morning, Americans and non-Americans. I'm Ted Paparazzo, local weatherman. Oh my God, Ted Paparazzo, local weatherman. For all country club goers such as myself, I have some dire news. It's gonna rain, like a lot! Anything outdoors related is canceled for the next four days. Well, that's just great. Now what am I supposed to do today? Well, aside from talking about politics, you could always just do the next day Common Review. You've got nothing to lose by doing it, especially since you haven't done one for like three weeks. <gasps> Desperate times, desperate measures. Switch Sports. It's a game. The long-anticipated third proper entry in the Wii Sports series released on April 29th, 2022 on the Nintendo Switch. And to keep things brief, it has some gaps to fill in, that's for sure. I do like how it still has the warnings about having proper room to play, but it just doesn't have as much charm as the original did on the Wii. And with that, let's jump right in. You know, I can't help but feel like Spoko is derogatory or something. First up, we got volleyball. That's a girl sport. We start the game not with a serve, but with a versus screen that lasts 15.8 seconds. Why is this versus screen so long? After that, the ball is served and the game is on. Swing your Joy-Con up to bump and set the ball, as well as block shots when you're at the net. Swing it up and then down to spike the ball. First team to six points wins. Every time you win a game online, you earn points toward earning a new piece of clothing for your avatar. Oh, and speaking of which, Mies are way better than sports mates. Gross. Team C's, get ready for Team Mies. After that, we have Badminton. It's just tennis. Swing the Joy-Con to volley the shuttlecock between yourself and your opponent. Hold the trigger on your Joy-Con to perform a drop shot. First one to five points wins, which would be a lot easier if you didn't trip all the time. Okay, now unless you're playing locally, this next sport isn't bowling. It's Fortnite. The game is played over four rounds, with only so many players moving on per round. First round, top eight of 16. Second round, top five of those eight. Third round, top three. And the finals are the final three contestants. You know, a funny story. I was playing this game one time before recording the footage, and one dude was using a Mia Matt. I wish I could have caught him on video, because Matt's skill speaks for itself. The guy came in eighth place. After that, we get what is easily the most competitive game on the whole catalog so far. Soccer! Cool. Boy, it it is. Sorry, I meant football! Anyways, it's borderline impossible to win online since A. There are more incompetent teammates than you can shake a stick at and B. The stiffening meter runs out faster than beer to bar mitzvah and it takes forever to recharge. Hopefully Nintendo will have patched it by the time you've seen this video, but I digress. Anyway, I switched to the single player mode because I lost my patience after 14 minutes of suffering. <laughs> Update. So during the recording process, I went over to my cousin's house to play this game, and not only did he score some sick goals, but we also saw Mies of Matt, Beef Boss, Garfield, Hank Hill, and the Ghost of Talking Ben. That's a dub. Nearing the end, we have Chambara. Chambara? Charmander? Anyways, it's just fencing from Wii Sports Resort, but Japanese and with two new styles. On top of the default sword, which has the strongest strike, we also have the charge sword, which can deliver a powerful strike after blocking a few attacks, and the double swords, which have a spin attack after a while and are exactly what they sound like. Personally, I prefer the double swords, but that's just because I'm a firm believer in the phrase, two is better than one. Oh, and all you gotta do is win by knocking the other person in the water. Don't worry everybody, we're almost done. We just gotta take care of tennis. It's just tennis. There isn't that much to say about it. I don't think it controls as well as it did on the Wii. It feels a lot slower and you're more likely to miss the ball because of it. The rules are generally the same though, except that instead of playing a normal match online, you know, with 15 love, 30 love, 45 love, whatever, you go until one side has seven points and then the game's over. And that was Nintendo Switch Sports. Overall, I think as of right now, it leaves a lot to be desired. 
The loading screens last way too long and the learning curve to be really high for games like soccer. And if people are still disappointed with the lack of sports in this game, they are adding golf this fall, which could be a huge content update. I will definitely do a video on that, for sure. Final verdict on this game though, um, it's way better than Anubis 2, but nowhere near as good as the original Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. That's all I really have to say. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next in the video, and... Yo, Cole, check this out. I got this letter from the guy who invited us to the country club. Oh, really? That's crazy. What's it say? Sincerest Benjamin, I do apologize for our trip being rained out. I would have loved to play doubles with you and your friend. However, if you ever wish to play Nintendo Switch Sports sometime, here's my friend code. Stay dry, Ted Paparazzo, LMAO News. I don't think that's how news station names work. Also, Ted Paparazzo? He's your friend? Yes, I have friends in very high places. How is that even possible? You were only born last month. How do you already have friends outside of me? I just have a really charming, outgoing personality. Now shut up and end the review. It's 1 o'clock and I want to watch Spongebob. Fine. Well, thanks again for watching. And as always, have a nice day.